Today, we're going to make a wet painting carrier. Actually, I'm not going to make a wet painting carrier, but I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. I'm Sarah F. Jane. Welcome to my studio. The main thing you'll need for this easy-to-make wet painting carrier is a piece of foam core. The foam core I have, I got from a business which used it for big in-store signage. But you can easily purchase foam core at a craft store. It might be white or some other color. In addition to foam core, you'll need some clear packing tape, scissors, a pencil, a razor blade, wax paper, old sheets are just fine, a ruler with a hard metal edge for cutting against, eight 12 inch balsa wood strips or something equivalent, and these directions, which you can get on my website, www.oldgarden.com. The handout lists all the measurements. This is what the wet painting carrier looks like when it's all done. I know it's not glamorous, but it's very functional. You can see how the balsa wood strips make it so you can slide panels in and out of the carrier. This wet painting carrier is designed for a 12 by 16 inch panel or a piece of foam core with a piece of canvas or linen taped onto it. The handout shows how to make the foam core panels as well as a foam core palette. Here's the foam core with canvas taped onto it and gessoed panel and the foam core palette all ready to take out into the field or to a workshop. Okay, let's build this. To begin with, you'll need the piece of foam core. The first pieces that you need to cut out of the foam core are the two sides, three by 17 and a quarter inches each. The measurements in the handout assume that your foam core is one quarter inch thick. You may need to make adjustments for thicker foam core. Let's assume you have already cut the two sides out. The next step is to attach the balsa wood strips. I don't really want to cut this piece of foam core out because I'm starting to run out of this great stuff I got, so I'm going to pretend that the two pieces are cut out. Put the two sides somewhere out of the way on a piece of wax paper. Lay four pieces of balsa wood on each side with equal distance from one another. Glue these down. Do this for both sides. Place a piece of wax paper over these and then place heavy books and other heavy stuff on top of them. Let these sides dry overnight. This is what you're creating. While your sides are drying, cut out the front and back. These are rectangles that measure 17 and a quarter inches by 12 and a half inches. Then you'll need the bottom, three inches by 12 inches. Cut all of these out of the foam core. After your sides are dry, fit the sides inside the front and back pieces. Notice that the sides are inside and the front and the back sit outside. This is critical so that you'll be able to slide panels that are 12 by 16 inches inside and out without them flopping all about and damaging one another. Notice that the wet painting carrier is taped with clear packing tape. Go ahead and tape your front, back, and sides together. Then, take the bottom that you've already cut out and fit this inside the box you just created. Having it inside provides support for the box. Tape the bottom in, then your box is done. I mean, truly, that's how easy it is to make this wet painting carrier. It's a good idea to mark on your carrier which side the front side of the painting goes toward. This way when you put the carrier in the car for travel, the front side will be up. The next step, if you want to, and depending how much foam core you have, is to cut three foam core panels that are each 12 by 16 inches. You can trace a 12 by 16 inch panel if you have one, and then cut the foam core with a razor blade. For a palette, you can cover it with a piece of paper, the same color as you want your palette to be, and then put three layers of contact paper over that. For painting support, you can just cover it with contact paper. If your contact paper doesn't really stick like what I have here, then it's pretty useless, and it's better to just cover the whole thing with clear packing tape. It's kind of boring to do, but it lasts forever. To get ready for painting, you can tape canvas or linen to the support, or even a prepared panel. Now the carrier is ready to go. When I'm preparing for a big painting expedition, I often tape additional smaller or larger canvases to the back of each support 
so that the carrier is completely maxed out. This gives me a variety of sizes to choose from, all set up and ready to paint on. Now that your carrier is set up, when you're ready to go painting, all you need to do is load up your palette with paint and slide it in the bottom slot. And if you do load your palette, be sure to transport the carrier like this. And there you have it, the wet painting carrier, loaded and ready to take painting. Thank you for watching and thanks to everyone who has subscribed and liked these videos. I look forward to painting with you. You can make tape handles like this, then do the same thing for the other side. I generally leave these off though because you have to be super careful that they don't actually hit a wet painting as you slide one in. Plus I usually carry the carrier like it's a sheet cake. I wish.